Ready to tip it off. Shanna and Bostic center court, and St. Peter's will get first possession with Riley Sunday. Back to Bryant, swings to the corner. Baseline drive for Peebles, and the Illini working the clock down on their first possession with five to shoot. Bryant lifts a three and drains it. So that New Jersey, New Jersey connection, a big reason for the transfer to St. Peter's. Peebles lifting a J and drains it from the corner. Shada Peebles out to five points. And Illinois could get a double digit lead here early going if Peebles connects. She does! And a whistle. Two man ball once again. Bryant works it for Illinois around the screen by Hobby as Shea Bowen is checked in. Hobby will go for the jumper and she drains it. Jana launches one. The Peacocks are 0 of 7 from beyond the arc. Now Corey Allen trying to get in it, and she is. You saw her do that so often in her days at Montverde. Yeah, and you can see something that really helped them in that game, which was the height advantage. They don't have the luxury of that in this game. Easy pickings for Adalia McKenzie. McKenzie with a jump stop in the lane, draws a double team. Bryant will launch one. It's good. Shoe peel aggressively was denying Jana inside right there. And Jada Leonard just says, all right, I'll throw it in for her first points. Keyword right there, duo. So many players that can drive inside and draw multiple eyes, and so many players that can use the height in this game with Illinois' added depth at the big man position. And it's too high off the glass. McKenzie in transition, another gear, but now she'll kick it out. Peebles for three, again she's good. And she's on the board. She transferred from Ryder, also in the conference with Metro Atlantic. Hey, Bryn Shoup Hill trying to get in the game with a three, and she does. Boston calling for it inside, now she sets the screen. Peebles, why not? And Illinois has seen a lot of resurgence and revival from a fan base that is hungry for some wins. And Jada Peebles and came hungry for threes. Give and go. Bostic for the and one. Yes, count it and a foul. She's taken over that backup position. Rhodes wide open and drains it. Allen gets an edge on Cool. Clear path layup is good for Corey Allen. You also have to credit uh, Calamity McIntyre and DeAntoine Cat Beasley as really well qualified assistants. Corey Allen now with nine points. <laughs> the annual field trip game with the more than 11,000 announced in attendance, more than 11,500. A roll from Rhodes to Nador. Credit as well there to Cameron Rhodes, just her ability to become a backup point guard for this team with the absence of Cook. Such a huge development in providing that depth for Illinois. And it showed right there. Stolen away by the Illini, taken away from Laws. Cameron Rhodes ahead for Nador again. Another two points. Rhodes around Hobby's screen, now a roll. Instead goes to Bowen, and Bowen wide open from the post. And I want to say may be on a path like Cameron Rhodes, who played a little bit last year, but Rhodes has now become the top reserve guard uh, with Peebles up in the starting lineup and Makaira Cook out. Of course, McCook could be close to returning. She's listed as day-to-day -day as St. Peter's gets a bucket there from Fuchs. And first the first points of the day. And the She's playing a key part in the early going of the season. And Corey Allen, meanwhile, in her first offensive performance of the year, is <laughs> Shea Pullen hits another three. Only Gretchen Dolan, who left early without, uh, with an injury, has not scored. And then Samantha Dewey. Wow, it's Corey Allen is going to pick up her 24th win as the Illini's head coach and her 180th collegiate win. The door flings it in. A full 70 point difference. The Illini are two and one.